Bangladesh v Zimbabwe, 5th ODI, Merpur. Tejal Debu hat trick seals 5 to 0 win. The report by Mohammed Isam. December 1st, 2014. Bangladesh 130 for 5, Mamudullah 51 asterisk, Shatara 3 to 44, beat Zimbabwe 128, Masakadza 52, Tejal 4 to 11, Shakib 3 to 30, by 5 wickets. Tejal Islam's hat trick, the first by an ODI debutante, spun Zimbabwe out for 128 and spurred Bangladesh to their second 5 to 0 series win. The home side won with 25.3 overs and 5 wickets to spare, with Mamudullah and Sabir Rahman unbeaten on 51 and 13 respectively. Bangladesh's spin attack was the story of the match. Tejal, replacing Rubal Hossein, took his first ODI wicket at the start of the 27th over, trapping Solomon Meyer LBW. Two balls into the start of the 29th, he had four wickets and had completed his hat trick, with the wickets of Tinash Paini Angara, John Nyumbu and Tende Shatara. Tejal became the fourth Bangladesh bowler to take a hat trick, after Shahadat Hossein, Abdur Razak and Rubel. Paini Angara left a big gap between pad and bat, and Tejal duly slid one through. Nyumbu went on the back foot and missed a quicker and flatter delivery, which struck his pads right in front of the stumps. Shatara seemed as eager as the bowler to complete the hat trick, swinging across the line and leaving his stumps unprotected. Shatara missed, and Tejal slammed his chest in celebration. When Shakib Al Hassan took the 10th wicket in the 29th over, Tejal was summoned to lead the team off the field. He had finished with figures of 7, 2, 11, 4, and walked off with a sheepish smile on his face with his teammates slapping him on his back. After the 10 minute innings break, Bangladesh started their chase poorly. Tama Mikbal guided one to third man, Animal Hack and Shakib edged catches to slip, and debutante Sumaya Sarkar gave leg slip a dolly. The top order's breakdown was reminiscent of Bangladesh's second innings in the Dhaka test but it was nothing compared to Zimbabwe's implosion. Mamudullah steered them home in the end, finishing unbeaten for the third match in a row and scoring his fourth international half-century of the season. Tejal's wickets came at the back end of the collapse, with Shakib Al Hassan finishing with three wickets and Jabir Hossein picking up two, including the wicket of Hamilton Masakadza, who had till that point been the hero of the match. Masakadza's wicket triggered Zimbabwe's collapse, which saw them lose their last nine wickets for 33 runs in 12.3 overs. Before that, they had looked set for a big total, at 95 for one in the 18th over. Sikandar Raza had fallen in the fifth over, when he chased a wide one from Mashrafe Mortaza after making yet another quick start. Masakadza attacked soon after, and seemed to be justifying Zimbabwe's decision to bat first for the first time in the ODI series. Masakadza struck 52 off 54 balls with 5 fours and 3 sixes. He punished anything pitched on his legs, even bringing out the big sweep off Mashrafe to hit him over fine leg for a six but the standout shot was a straight drive off Abul Hassan, struck with a lot of force and with perfect stillness of head. He added 79 for the second wicket with Sabanda, who made 37 off 51 balls with three fours, through point, cover and midwicket. Sabanda enjoyed a life on 16 when Mashrafe Mordaza dropped him at midwicket, but by the time he pulled another catch to the same fielder in the 23rd over, Zimbabwe were already in a through at 109 for 4. The collapse had begun with Masakadza missing Jabir Hossein's Kugla in the 18th over. The delivery drew him forward and sneaked through the gate to strike the top of middle stump, a beautiful delivery to beat Zimbabwe's best batsman on the day. Brendan Taylor missed Jacob's arm ball in the 21st over, playing inside the line of the ball, which went on to hit his off stump. In his next over, Shakib had Sabanda's wicket. Jabir ended Time Isan Maruma's misery with a googla that tied him up in the crease with both legs together, and the visitors had fallen to 112 for 5. It was at this moment that Mashrape brought back a bowler who had till that point sent down five wicketless overs. Tejal had the ball in his hand and history, unsuspecting, beckoned. 
Mohammed Isam is Esm Chrysanfo's Bangladesh correspondent. At Isam 84. RSS feeds, Mohammed Isam. Copyright ESPN Sports Media Limited. Visual Media for Internet Nation.